If you were to look at Han Sohee's promising past, you would think that she would be one of the most promising idols out there. Instead, her choices led to her being one of the reasons for YG Entertainment's catastrophic downfall. There isn't much known about her early life or her family, but there have been rumors about her being a golden spoon. It's said that her dad runs a local company in Incheon, earning around 30 to 40 billion won annually, and that he's also the proud owner of a building in Songdo, which led people to believe that she's wealthy. She said so herself in 2017 when she posted a picture of herself with the TVXQ members taken back in 2005. The caption on the picture was, Found a relic while going through my albums. The yellow padding is me. I was a golden spoon. Her family being well off and going out of their way to keep her happy could shed light on why things played out the way they did in the future and why she is often referred to as the biggest nightmare of K-pop idols. If she came from a Chaebol family, it would explain why she allegedly lives at the Trimage apartment in Seoul, which is an apartment complex for the filthy rich. She also allegedly drives an expensive car, is often seen in designer clothes and carrying pricey bags. Some rumors said that no, so he wasn't your typical rich girl heiress, but that her father runs a small IT company and her mother is a high school principal. If this is true, then she might have led a comfortable life, but she wouldn't exactly be classified as rich. So he herself said that she affords her lifestyle all by herself, which could be true if we consider everything we know about her side businesses, but since there's really not much confirmed about her family life, let's look at what we actually know and why she's so disturbing. Even if her family was as rich as everyone was claiming, Sohee was talented enough to get into some of the top entertainment companies. She auditioned for JYP Entertainment in 2011 when she was only 16. Out of everyone who had auditioned at the time, it seemed that Sohee was the most impressive, as she won first place in the auditions without breaking much of a sweat, but for some unknown reason, she never ended up signing an official contract with the company. Whatever happened between her and JYP, Sohee wouldn't give up on debuting just yet. Only a year after her audition, she appeared on NBC's audition program, Birth of a Great Star 3. She failed to make it to the top 12 in the competition, but her skills were so impressive that after the show ended, she got tons of offers from different entertainment agencies, one of them allegedly being Pledis Entertainment. According to Sohee, she was a trainee at the company very shortly. She has even discussed her alleged time there, saying that it had been one of the most challenging parts of her life. She said that she and the other trainees couldn't even drink water without permission during practice. Sohee mentioned practicing for 12 hours every every day, even on Sundays. With managers keeping an eye on them via CCTV, they apparently couldn't even nap or use their phones without the company finding out. However, after an investigation was conducted, it was tough to find any proof that she had indeed signed a trainee contract with the agency. We have to admit that she has a creative imagination, though. So he also mentioned getting recruited by FNC Entertainment, but it turned out she didn't sign a contract for some reasons that came up before the signing was officially completed. There were also rumors that she signed with Source Music as she was allegedly supposed to debut with G-Friend, she even allegedly trained with the members, but she and the company ended up parting ways before the group could debut. Someone had also claimed that she trained under YG Entertainment for a few months, but the company denied the rumors. At this point, Sohee herself wasn't sure whether she would be debuting or not. Amongst all these rumors, the only confirmed and truly verified fact is that she was a Jellyfish Entertainment trainee. She trained with the members of Gugudon and was supposed to debut alongside them, but as you have heard many times by now, she she and the company ended up parting ways. Later on, Jellyfish revealed that she was actually kicked out after only a month for not following the rules. The label mentioned she trained with them from June to July 2015. She allegedly often skipped practice without permission, and she also supposedly hadn't informed the company of her decision to undergo plastic surgery. In response to these accusations, Sohee explained that she didn't attend without permission and denied having plastic surgery without asking for permission beforehand. Whether it was her fault or not, experiencing rejection so many times made Sohee lose hope that she would ever be debuting. It had been six years since she had first auditioned for JYP, and she was watching the trainees she practiced with debut in their respective groups while she was jumping from company to company with no end in sight. She had stated in the past that she needed to be interested in something to start so she could study or practice for it. And well, she did find an interest, but it ended up causing a lot of trouble for many people. There had been suspicions that Sohee had been using substances even when she was just a trainee. It was said that she had been allegedly caught with these substances by managers, which may be why she couldn't stay more than a few months in the same company. So after her dream as an idol came to an end, she allegedly started to provide these substances for others and business was booming. Because she knew so many trainees and idols from all the different companies she had been under, it wasn't hard to find a clientele to rely on. She also said that she started working at a 10 Pro around the same time, which would have her deal with some of the richest people in Korea, which would have made it even easier for her to expand her business. If you're not familiar with the term 
10 Pro, they're high-end adult venues in Korea known for serving the wealthiest individuals. They got the name 10 Pro, meaning 10% in Korea, because it's believed that only the top 10% of the most beautiful women can work there, with Sohee being one of them. She said that even though it was controversial to work there, she just couldn't resist the insane amount of money she was making there. It was there that she met YG Entertainment's founder Yang Hyun Suk, and the two became quite close, and were even suspected of having an intimate relationship judging by the number of times Yang Hyun Suk went to visit her at the establishment. In shared text conversations, Sohee is seen calling him Appa, and Hyun Suk allegedly offered her free tickets to concerts of his artists, which must be why she knew so many YG artists. The event started unfolding in March 2016 when 21's former stylist Yang Sung Ho got arrested in Tokyo for smoking illegal substances. This incident triggered investigations, which led to the involvement of T.O.P., Han Sohee, B.I., and many others. The police were already investigating other YG artists for committing the same crime but had no cause to test anyone just yet. Just a month later, B.I. contacted Sohee about buying substances from her and according to what she said to the police, she had delivered the substance to Icon's dorms. Afterwards, Sung Hoon from Winner had reached out to Sohee, informing her that B.I. failed the company substance test and proposed a meeting between the two. Allegedly, a representative from YG went to meet with her instead, instructing her not to say anything about B.I. Still, Sohee probably tried to get herself a good deal with the police and told them everything, including the fact that she had delivered substances to B.I. after the YG employee found out about it, Sohee was sent to the company building and privately met with Yang Hyun Suk. According to her, Yang Hyun Suk said that he wasn't a fan of the fact that his artists were getting investigated and threatened to ruin any potential career she had in the idol industry. She went on to say that he urged her to change her statement by emphasizing his influence to access police reports. So he then said that she felt compelled to comply due to fear and a lack of options. The fact that he was exposed for forcing Sohi to change her testimony as well as a string of other scandals led to Yang Hyun Suk stepping down from the CEO position at YG in 2019. But back in 2016, while Yang Hyun Suk and B.I. were left to deal with the police, so he walked away with a slap on the wrist. This is why when the scandal broke out in 2019, people started assuming that her family was very rich. She was involved in one of the wildest scandals of one of the biggest companies in the entertainment business, but she walked away unscathed? Very weird. Just a few months later, after she had met with B.I., so he had allegedly run into Big Bang's T.O.P. at a cafe and he took a liking to her right away. The two ended up dating and there had been multiple instances in which the two had smoked substances together. Once Yang Hyun Suk was made aware of this, he reportedly sent So Hee away to America for three months. While this might seem confusing, he had thought this one through. She was purposely sent to Los Angeles a few days before Big Bang's made album came out and stayed there until the group finished their tour and T.O.P. enlisted. Since Yang Hyun Suk was already aware of what T.O.P. was doing with So Hee, he hoped that sending her away would make the problem go away. As you might be already aware, things didn't work their way. In March of 2017, So Hee was arrested for illegal substance-related charges. While investigating in the same month, the police managed to connect T.O.P. to So Hee, and he was sentenced to two years of probation. So Hee was also sentenced to four years of probation and 120 hours of treatment sessions, but she didn't let that get in the way of anything as shortly after her sentence, she began to make plans to debut in a four-member group. However, that's not important to us right now as we're going to briefly discuss the messy situations she got other idols involved in. In October 2019, So Hee and her girlfriend Jung Da Eun targeted Monsta X's Wanho and Shonu. Da Eun, who knew Wanho from before, claimed he had a history of aggravated theft and substance use, accusing him of not repaying the 30 million won he allegedly owed her. While Wanho was cleared of the substance allegations, he admitted to past probation, which were unrelated to illegal substances. Wanho eventually left Monsta X so he wouldn't be a burden to his members. Then, So Hee and Di Eun went on to share a message Di Eun claimed to have received, in which the sender accused Shonu of having an affair with his wife. Starship Entertainment responded to the claims, stating that while Shonu had contact with the woman before she was married, he wasn't aware of her marital status. She was also involved in the late Lee Soon Gyun's case. Remember the 10 Pro she worked in? Well, it was reported that Lee Soon Gyun used to frequent the establishment a lot, and it was suspected that the two, along with other individuals, had used illegal substances there. Paired with her previous three charges, things weren't looking good for her. However, all these years, So He has never gotten into any real trouble for anything. She has ruined careers and is partially responsible for the tragic state of YG Entertainment now, but she's currently going on with life as if nothing had happened. In fact, she's getting into more trouble even now in 2024. On January 29th, there were some alleged leaked messages between the famous actor An Hyo Sop and So He. In the supposed message exchange, she allegedly invites him to a luxury hotel 
in Gangnam for dinner via room service and hinting at possible mature things to take place. He is seen hesitating for a while, and she allegedly resorts to threatening him. A netizen then claimed so he posted photos at the hotel on the same day as the alleged messages, which made everyone doubt whether the messages were even real in the first place. However, some fans believe that not only are the messages real, but that An Hyo Sop should be scrutinized for even hanging around Sohee in the first place. Most posts about the alleged exchange are getting deleted, which made people think that someone was taking measures to bury this scandal. Others believe that the conversation is real, but that Sohee was offended that Hyo Sop had rejected her, so she leaked the conversation to ruin his career. She denied these accusations and even said that the conversation was fabricated. Knowing the many things we have been hearing about her over the past few years, we doubt that this is the last time we will hear about this mess, so stay tuned for more updates.